Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Isabel. If you are new here, if you are returning, thank you so much for being here. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, today's video, I'm going to go over things to not put on your baby registry and things that you really don't need and aren't going to use. So I am pregnant with my third baby. I am 29 weeks. I am having a little girl. I'm due the first week of October. I have two older boys. I have a six-year-old and a three-year-old. So um, I have done this two times before and I have a lot of relatives that have had babies. I have a ton of friends that have had babies and from my personal experience and I can say for most everyone else, um, I just want to help a sister out, let you know what you really don't need on your baby registry so that you get the things that you really do need. I'm not going to talk too much. I want to get right into everything. I put a list on my phone. So first of all, if you're not a normal subscriber of mine and you are watching this video, you're probably pregnant. So congratulations. I don't want to like offend anyone if there's like anything on here that is some mom's like favorite thing in the whole wide world, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Anyways, first thing is diapers. Now, I wanted to say this first because diapers is something, um, especially if this is your first baby and you're having uh, a baby shower, this is something to put on your baby. You can have like a diaper raffle. So like everyone bring in a thing of diapers and you're in a raffle to like when like you can give them a gift card or something like that. Um, that's a great way to do diapers. Uh, because I didn't do that. Um, my first son, he'll be seven in no November, and that wasn't like really a thing. I wish it was, but I really didn't get a lot of diapers. Um, so we ended up using the money in gift cards that we got to um, buy a spend on diapers. But you don't want to like fill your registry with diapers. I would do a diaper raffle. Obviously, obviously, if you're not having a big baby shower, like. For this baby this is my third baby so I'm doing a really small sprinkle with my close friends um, and I'm just like trying to stock up on diapers when they go on sale and things like that that is number one secondly we'll get to like bottle feeding so you don't want to put these like huge bottle sets that are like over a hundred dollars even more than that um, that come with like the eight ounce and the five ounce and the cleaning and then this and then that because you don't know what your baby is going to take to. Um, so for instance, with my first son, I breastfed him and he wouldn't take a bottle for a very long time. He, he would not even take a bottle. Um, so we tried all these different bottles and ended up spending, um, you know, wasting that huge, I think we got the Tommy Tippy set and he hated them like he refused to even take them so um i recommend you getting just like oh my god my hand has self tanner on it um just getting like the double packs for this baby we are getting the como tomo bottles i think that's how you say it they have great reviews another thing is to look into reviews and ask people that have had babies and what their babies like um we ended up using avent bottles with michael and with my three-year-old benjamin so um we're doing the como tomo bottles which are supposed to be like exactly like very similar to a breast and then avent bottles i know are amazing so um I recommend you putting on your registry just like the two packs of like the five ounce ones to see how that goes. Um, I also think on baby list there is um, a set that you can do of like a bunch of different kind of bottles which would be awesome. So then um, either spend your own money on that bottle set of whatever your baby takes to or you'll have gift cards to get like a bottle set once you know what your baby likes because you might think you know best but you really don't your baby will let you know all right another thing is sippy cups um sippy cups are also very similar to bottles um i had a lot of issues with both of my kids taking to sippy cups i recommend the newbie sippy cups um i'll link them they're amazing they're awesome they're a really good like step up from a bottle like to switch but don't be putting like a million different kinds of sippy cups like ones that you think are cute 
because people will buy those and that will be their gift of like buying you a bunch of little like things that is just going to be a waste you know so um definitely i definitely recommend the newbie ones but maybe put one kind on there and then you go from there once your baby starts taking to a sippy cup also on this feeding train a formula a formula like maker like it's basically like a keurig for formula and then you it will like make the bottle for you do not i have heard nothing but horrible things they are more of like a expensive item and i have heard from friends i've heard on other reviews i've watched on youtube that um it doesn't measure the formula to the water right and it's just like a waste of money and time making a bottle with formula in it really is not rocket science like you don't need something to make it for you you really don't um i know that it sounds like so like I'm gonna be so tired and that would be so nice but like it's really really not necessary and it's super expensive you could be getting something that you need instead and then a baby food maker like a it's basically a food processor and I'm sure majority of people have a food processor at their house if you want to make your baby their own um, homemade food you just need a food processor it's really unnecessary to get this whole shebangy expensive elaborate baby food maker and literally a lot of my friends like the baby brezza i think is what it's called was really popular um it still is but some of my friends got it and they were like i literally never used it and sold it online like it's just not um it's just i don't know for me I was not like, especially with the second one, and I know with the third, I was not like spending my days making my baby like smushed carrots. You know what I mean? Like it was just not on my to-do list. If that is like, if you have time for that, you are like superwoman and I'm jealous, but I'm just saying like, you can do it with a food processor. I think that those things are a waste of money. All right, next up we have bouncy seats, swings, and just like things to put your baby in. You really do not need a million. There are so many like the Nuna Leaf and the Baby Bajorn Bouncer and the Fisher Price one and the Graco and there's like so many of these things just to put your baby in. Your baby is gonna start flipping itself around and moving in a few months and you're not gonna be able to just put them down and just leave them there, you know what I mean? So um, you really don't, you need like one thing um, to put them somewhere that can be like portable. Um, if you're, if you are taking a shower, like trust me, your baby has to be everywhere that you are. So like if you're taking a shower, something to, that you can bring in with you, put in the living room. Like for me, I would recommend the Baby Bajorn Bouncer. I just talked about it in my, um, baby gear must have videos that seat is like the best seat ever it's a little more pricey but it's just a little over a hundred dollars put that on your registry it is the best thing ever it folds up you can put it away um babies love it so you know you just you just don't need like a million things to just put your baby down in you know like so I definitely do recommend the Fisher Price swing and the baby bajorn bouncer but like besides that you don't need more than that you don't need to put like five bouncy seats in five different swings like you don't need the four mom swing you don't need the fish price swing you don't need the whatever else swing like you don't need a million of the same things and i see that a lot of time on people's registry and i just say and i just like i'm trying to help people out um by making this video and just like let you know that it's really not necessary because with my first baby i had like this lounge like this like pillow lounge thing that you could just like put anywhere and we never used it and then it got recalled for something but i put like a bunch of different things for the baby to sit in like realistically like you're going to be holding your baby most of the time or putting it in like one specific seat or a swing i love the swing i'm not saying don't get a swing i'm just saying don't get like a million of the same things also detergent um, I know there's been like talk about the Dreft detergent. I love the smell of the Dreft. 
um, and I used it with both boys. I got the Noodle and Boo off of Amazon um, that I'm going to wash this baby's clothes in, but you do not need like 20 gallons of the dress detergent um, it lasts for a super long time uh, not to say that you don't do a lot of uh, laundry because you sure as heck do but you'll eventually stop doing the loads on their own the baby or at least this is for me I can't speak for everyone but I stopped doing just baby loads of laundry because their clothes are so teeny that I had like my clothes and the kids clothes and Mike's clothes you know that I needed to wash and get done and I just started using our normal detergent and everything was perfectly fine so you don't want to be like overloaded on this baby detergent that you're not gonna end up needing and like I said a little bit goes a long way all right, so next for like some blankets and clothes and shoes and I'm telling you Put like two swaddle blankets that you're gonna use like in the hospital for like their first picture or like newborn pictures and then like swaddle like the velcro swallow swaddle so <laughs> why can't I speak? Um, but you don't need a million of those like Aiden and eyes. I don't know how to say that you don't need a million of those and and Especially don't put those on your registry because people will get those for you anywhere Anyways, they're all over Marshall's TJ Maxx Target like they're everywhere and you don't need you definitely do need them You will use them, but you don't need a hundred, you know, so um, just relax on the swaddle blankets um, clothes and hats People are going to buy you clothes no matter what. If you don't know what sex you're having, if you're having a boy, if you're having a girl, like people are going to buy you clothes. So um, feel free to buy yourself or buy, yeah, buy stuff yourself that like you know that you want to see your baby in, but people are going to get you clothes. So like don't, don't be filling your whole registry with clothes because either way you're going to get it. Um, also like the little newborn baby hats. They really don't wear them that much. Um, bows are a different story if you're having a girl, like I'm already stocking up on bows, I'm so excited. But like the little newborn hats, like have a couple, but you don't need to be like going crazy and buying a million hats. Shoes, just don't, just don't. Your baby's not gonna wear shoes. They will scream while the shoes are on, especially before they're even walking any any time before they're walking they are gonna hate shoes really cute like um, the little booties that will keep their feet warm socks that look like shoes that's all good but your baby's not gonna wear shoes do not buy your baby shoes do not ask for shoes it's it's not gonna happen trust me all right another thing that you are hundred and twenty five percent not going to need is a wipes warmer that is another gift that's like 40 to 50 bucks that is so unnecessary I never used mine. We returned ours um, for my first son, and it's just, it's, you're just not gonna use it. Just, there's not enough time in the day. I mean, I can, I understand the concept of it, but, but you don't need it. Have someone buy you something else. Don't get a wipes warmer. Most insurances, um, like my insurance is paying for breast pump um, for me. I think I'm gonna get the Spectra. I think that's what it's called. Um, I did the Medela with the other two boys. I bought mine not knowing that my insurance would just give me one. So look into that before putting um, a breast pump on your registry. Like do your research um, and especially do your research on which one you should get because there's so many advertisements and there's so many weird breast pumpy thingies going on and just like get the basic get the one that um, has the best reviews. The Medela, I loved the Medela. I've just heard great things about the Spectra and that's the one I'm gonna try out this time. All right, next up is diaper bags. Um, you need one diaper bag. <laughs> like your husband doesn't need a diaper bag, your dog doesn't need a diaper bag, grandma doesn't need a diaper bag. You're gonna have a diaper bag and it's gonna go with whoever the baby's with. So don't like overdo it with the diaper bags because that, is expensive um, for me I would live breathe and die to get a Gucci diaper bag but it's not gonna happen so I have the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM size and I'm just gonna order one of the inserts from Amazon um, the organizers and there's my diaper bag um, there's a ton of super cute like the freshly picked and the 
I don't, there's a bunch of different stuff. I don't even know. Um, but just choose one that you're in love with. Splurge or don't splurge, but you do not need a million different kinds of diaper bags. All right, lastly, I want to talk about car seat stroller and high chair, which are like probably going to be your biggest, highest priced items. Um, besides like cribs and furniture and stuff, but so this is something that you're really going to want to do your research on. Um, you can watch my baby gear video on this stuff that I have purchased and will be purchasing for this baby. Um, but this is something that's really up to the couple, to the person, your lifestyle. Um, if you want a stroller that you can, like a jogging stroller that you're going to be hiking with the baby, or if you just want a, a normal stroller, if you're going to be walking through the city, if you live in the city, you know, different things like that. Um, what's really going to be a best fit for you um, and do your own research on that. With high chairs, I definitely, definitely recommend to do your research and to like physically see them in person. I talked about it in my baby gear video. Again, um, you don't want to get something with like nooks and crannies and, and all this stuff that can get all this gucka stuck in it. And also like everyone has a different living situation. Everyone's kitchen is laid out differently. You know, things like that. If you just want to get one of the high chairs that straps to the to a chair that you already have, which we have one of those, um, you know, all of that stuff, take into account. Don't think that because one person has one specific thing that you have to have that too. Um, definitely do your research, see what's the best fit for you. And those are my recommendations on this stuff that you should not get. Um, and, you know, I added some of my recommendations in there, but I just hope that you got something from this video today. I really have been wanting to make one of these videos um, ever since I started my channel, but I didn't want to like randomly just have these like this six year old and this three year old and be like, hey, don't get this stuff. But I'm pregnant now and it's not that I, I don't know everything. I don't, I'm not any kind of expert on this kind of stuff, but um, I have done it twice before. I'm doing it a third time and I just don't, I just want everyone to get everything they truly need. I watched a video um, similar, it was just like this, like things not to get a few months ago um, when I first got pregnant and the girl was like, only get things that you need for right when you get home and right when you have a newborn. And I totally disagree with that. I don't agree with that at all. I think that you should pack that baby registry full of things that you are going to need for the first year um, of your baby's life because you are going to, you're going to think like, oh, it's going to be so far away until my baby, you know, tries food for the first time. No, it's not. It is going to come so fast. Your baby grows so fast and you're not going to be, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I have to go run out and get all this stuff, you know? Um, so instead of doing that, just have everything already there for you on your registry and that is my recommendation. I will be doing another video on newborn to like one year essential things that like little things that um, you're definitely going to need. So look out for that. Um, I just started with the negative Nancy and stuff that you shouldn't get, um, but I just don't want you to waste your time and I just want you to get everything you need. So that is it for me today. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.